or the back of the packet. Idiot. I'm Ebony Zebony, and on this week's Try It Tuesday, I'm trying corn and ancient grain chips flavoured with sriracha and arissa. Stick around for the random rating I give it at the end. At some point last year, I attended a doctor's appointment with my new Indian doctor who I love. He was fantastic, uh, young and had a sense of humour and liked to Google while you're in the room with things that were relevant to you. Anyway, he told me that apparently having raw chilli powder on my food, like salt and pepper, was a no-no. His mum would say, no, 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 no. He said it's bad for me, so I had to find some alternatives and he googled and he found me sriracha, which I had heard of, but I just didn't have a need for it because I had my chilli powder. So between switching to sriracha and doing Try It Tuesdays and keeping an eye out on the shelf for different things, and also trying to pick up some more whole grain things because I have been lacking in energy something chronic. My only thing is I didn't like buying any hummus or any kind of dip thing to go with them. A healthy dip, you know, a healthier dip, which I think would go great. I haven't even had it yet, but... Ooh! <laughs> I kind of expected these to maybe be a little bit boring. <laughs> I don't know if it's because they're grains and that's like healthy so it must be like cardboard um grains that was such a weird sentence but they smell really nice they kind of remind me of like you know proper corn chips like you could eat them on their own like hummus be damned so oh my god they smell so good you can see the flavor I'm both excited and a little worried because I love like spicy things. Problem is usually when packets of things say that they're spicy, they're not really because the average consumer can only take so much, which I understand. It's not for everyone, but for the people that like it a little hotter, it can be a little bit disappointing at times. Yum. Now, sriracha, I think, can be a bit more subtle than the way I used to have my chili powder because I could layer that on. But that has a nice ting to it. I think if you aren't a huge chili fan, you might actually be able to bear these, especially if you did have some hummus. It might be nice to like cool it down, but still get like a nice little tang around your mouth. I think so. Let me just double check. Yum. Yum. I'm changing what I'm having for lunch. Uh oh. Hubby might be home. I won't get any more peace and quiet to record videos. Or eat like a pig in peace. <laughs> I'd be curious to see how I go like after a handful. Like to see if um if, if the heat would like hold it all, but even if it doesn't, I'll just get the sriracha out of the fridge. Mm. <coughs> I feel like the food went down the right way, but the spices didn't. <coughs> I could eat these puppies by themselves or with something like a hummus, you know, or something creamy where the, the creamy taste of the dip doesn't completely overpower the sriracha and harissa flavor. And then just marry and make a beautiful snack baby. Yes! They don't blow my socks off in terms of heat, which I could deal with and wouldn't mind, but I still enjoyed them. And to top off that they're kind of like, they're tasty. There's all these like cool keywords like gluten-free, there's a source of fiber, they're whole grain, packed with flavor. Oh, made with 86% Australian ingredients, bonus. Oh, and it also says suitable for vegetarians. I could easily package these up and take them to work for my play lunch. Yes, I said play lunch. But I might have to hide them and not crunch near anyone because they might want to share. And let's be honest, I don't want to. I'm going to give these a 3.8 flying saucers out of five. Yum. <laughs> Sorry. 
life's short. Don't be afraid to be who you are.